So hello and welcome all signs. This is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. We will be reading with Lenormand and then clarifying with a tarot. Make sure to follow and subscribe so you know when I come up with a new reading and thank you all for being here. It, it means a lot. Yeah. Oh, keep in mind that these are daily readings so the energies are not that big. I was uh, wondering as well what it is that uh, you all are, uh, uh, what line of work you all are doing, like what is your profession. So feel free to write a comment what it is that you are doing, so I get a little bit more of um, understanding what's going on with with you all. Yeah. Oh, she's coming up. Here she comes. Yeah, me myself when i'm not doing uh, youtube or working with tarot i i work at, at school so my uh, daytime job is working at, at school uh, helping kids with special needs and it's a uh, it's really rewarding and exhausting at the same time but yeah uh, mostly rewarding um, but yeah uh, feel free to write down your uh, work or your profession in, in the comments so get a little bit more of an understanding um, yeah let's uh, begin Aries so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Mondays let's see what you need to know Coming days. Sorry, Aries. Looks like it's almost like you do have a little bit of uh, some worries this week, Aries. Something that you're stressing out about. We will see what's going on. So, Aries, on Monday, this can be a. Uh, just kind of do see you. It's kind of like waking up on the ro wrong side of the bed here, Aries. Um, yeah, but it's, uh, it's a bad mood on Monday. It's like you don't want to interact with people or just uh, kind of leave me alone energy here. Can be as well, Aries, that somebody's wanting to offer you something here, uh, some appreciation, but it's like you are um, just not having it as well. Can be a, you're turning down an offer here. Mm. Yeah, there is something, Aries, going on here. Because on Tuesday, it's like you are even having some some troubles showing yourself uh, some love. can be that you are very harsh on yourself this week as well, Aries. Especially on Tuesday. Like trying to remain positive, but having some uh, trouble doing so. can be uh, that you just ended it as well with somebody Aries and your energy is going down I'm feeling the burden <clears throat> I'm gonna do like 
this series. You do see that this is a Yeah, I do see it more areas as if uh, uh, this is for the areas that are dealing with uh, uh, another person here, feeling like it's ending. Um, yeah, and for your other areas that are that is not ending it with somebody, can be that you're just feeling a bit down in this week. But here on Wednesday, it's like you're reflecting on uh, on this connection or a connection with somebody uh, going down the memory lane here on, on Wednesday. It's taking a hard look at the past. Um, Thursday can be some stressful uh, communication that you will be receiving. Some You will be hearing something or somebody will well, yeah, communicate something that will... Uh, That will make you a little bit stressed stressed out here so some stressful communication here um, can be you as well that is worried about something and sending out a, a concerned message here on Thursday and Aries on Friday Friday, I kind of do see you doing it uh, your way, Aries. Like you're uh, going out of your principle, seeing it from your, uh, yeah, it's a matter of principle. It's like you're not going to back down. Um, can be as well that you be dealing with somebody that wants you no good. It's like you are, well, fighting them off almost, Aries. Like standing your ground here on Friday. Can be as well that you might be taking your power back. It's like, and I do see a, like a downhill this week, Aries, for you when it comes to your energy. It's feeling a bit down, but it's like standing up on your, uh, for yourself here on Friday. Like, nope, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be stressed. I'm not going to be burdened. Uh, I'm going to fight this or I'm going to. Yeah. Kind of do see it more, Aries, as you are dealing with somebody and feeling uh, an ending here. It can be as well that you're just feeling your energy getting drained this week. Now, not having much to give to others, barely to yourself. But I do see you standing up towards it all as well, uh, fighting this, Aries. So, Aries, uh, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you and uh, bye. Taurus, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with... Monday, so let's see what you need to know for the coming days. like you are worried about something here Taurus when in reality it's like there's nothing to worry about uh, but let's see might be due to something if you applied to something Taurus I will looks that you will hear get some news about it let's see that's how we Monday 
It's almost on Monday, you will be finding yourself in an uncomfortable situation, Taurus. Um, yeah. It's like you're not... Uh, yeah, it's... Can you see it? It's just uncomfortable for you. It, you're not enjoying this, uh, this situation or it's... Uh, can be drama around you or something, but it's like you wanted to uh, get out almost, Taurus. Um, yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, I do see you working on on something here, Taurus, on Tuesday that will pay off in the in the long long term. So it's like this is not something that is done in a in a day, but it's a knowing that it will pay off like in the future. Mm. On Wednesday, Taurus. Is this feeling of wanting to explore something new here? Can be a new idea that comes to your uh, mind as well on on Wednesday. Sorry, yeah, Wednesday. Um, yeah, can be uh, that you do have a lot of inspiration on Wednesday and new ideas of uh, doing things comes your way. Um, or is it just you wanting to? Uh, of feeling that you wanted to explore something new here, Taurus. Thursday. This is a can be that you will run into somebody, Taurus, on Thursday that you are uh, uh, well, not wanting to see or talk about can be somebody from the past that you will hear from uncertain what it is that they are wanting from you yeah it's almost like you you don't trust them not fully or you don't trust or just uncertain why they are reaching out or um, yeah so it can be somebody from the past here Taurus on Thursday and on Friday <clears throat> Taurus it's this uh, feeling of uh, uh, treating yourself Taurus on Friday like doing what it is that you are um, yeah, what is that you're feeling up to? Like uh, on Friday is uh, is Taurus Day, so you might have um, other people might want your attention on Friday, but it's like nope, I'm gonna do uh, something just for me, Taurus. Yeah, can be this feeling of exploration again, Taurus, as you had on on Wednesday. You're gonna try it out on on Friday, but yeah, Taurus. Uh, that's what I had for you this week. Uh, Monday and Thursday looks a little bit. Uh, well, keep an eye out on those days at least Monday because there is a situation where you feel uncomfortable in on Monday. And Thursday is like running into a, a somebody that you're just not wanting to talk about or just uh, uncertain what it is that they are wanting from you so Taurus that's what I have for you this week thank you and uh, bye Cancer so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day
starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know the coming days. Yes, like you do have a lot of things on your mind uh, this week, Cancer. I need to, to take care of a lot of things, like a busy week for you. Let's see. On Monday. Now this can be uh, like if you've been dealing with some 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 issues, uh, cancer. It's like you are done with that. Can be that you uh, stop doing as well something that is not good for you. You're trying to uh, uh, yeah move past a move past an uh, like an added addiction like you know it's not good for you and so you're trying to uh, well stop doing that can be as well that you are cutting out some people that is just not good for you like they don't serve you anymore uh, cancer yeah getting, getting rid of uh, something bad here um, Tuesday Uh, it's like you do have uh, something that you're wanting to try, Cancer, on Tuesday. Something you've been thinking about, and it's like, well, let's let's try it out. Let's see, let's see where this uh, leads me. It can be a new idea for work or a project that you're doing. Um, yeah, but there's something something new that you're wanting to try out here. Wednesday. This can be a missed opportunity on Wednesday, Cancer, uh, especially for those who are looking for somebody new, like a person, you might miss, uh, might miss a moment here or not take advantage of a moment on Wednesday. We do have the opportunity. This is just you, Cancer, feeling a bit exhausted uh, on Wednesday, a little bit uh, emotionally drained here. Um, yeah. Thursday. <clears throat> One second, Cancer, I will clarify Thursday for you. This can be you, Cancer, wanting to uh, move or change a location. Like um, get a new uh, house or apartment or just something that is not fitting right at your current uh, um, place.
because I don't see it like you wanted to get rid of something but it's like uh, can be a family a family value that you will keep on having this Yeah, but it's just uh, kind of do it more of uh, a feeling of wanting to move almost cancer. Uh, like there's not something that is not sitting right where at your where you are right now, your location. Can be your stability as well. Like needing to do things uh, in a different way uh, cancer like it's like your how do you say your uh, like this is the way you were raised so that's why you're holding on to it because this is the only way you you know how to do it but it's like you are thinking of well maybe I can do this in this way or it's like you are changing your your ways here or thinking of different path yeah and on friday cancer <clears throat> Because if it is uh, here on Thursday that you are feeling, uh, well, wanting to try a different way of doing things, it's like here on Friday you make up your mind and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it, I'm gonna try it, uh, being determined that you will succeed. Uh, cancer, it's like a knowing within you that you, well, I'm gonna succeed at this. This is, uh, this is what I'm gonna aim for. yeah so cancer uh that's what i had for you this week uh, thank you and uh bye gemini so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with monday so let's see it is that you need to know for the coming days Gemini see some new things coming your way this week Gemini but at the same time it's a very stable energy throughout the week here that's it let's start with Monday it's the only day that it's well, let's see So, Gemini, on Monday, I do see a lot of passion here. Uh, can be t towards another person that you're just uh, experiencing this uh, passion between you. Or this is just you uh, getting more passionate about something that you, uh, well, you love. Feeling the inspiration here, Gemini, on Monday. Uh, but I do see it yeah, more towards the person 
feeling passionate towards. Tuesday, this can be you starting to work on something new, it can be a new profession all around, but it's like you are starting something new here on Tuesday, Gemini. Uh, yeah, something that you're wanting to work on on Tuesday. Like a new project or new responsibilities at, at work as well can be. Wednesday. It's almost this feeling. Gemini of needing to uh, slow down a little bit um, yeah it's like you needing to slow down on, on Wednesday you can feel it can be that you've been doing a lot of things recently but it's just uh, like your uh, body is telling you to to slow things down um, on Wednesday so needing to relax a little bit here Thursday, it's a lot of communication on Thursday, do you see uh, emotions behind those uh, uh, well, communication as well, can be towards your, your person, like lots of uh, lovely communication here, I guess somebody that, uh, that you care about, or, or telling them that you you're thinking about them, or showing them that you care. And on Friday, Gemini, this can be a like a, a small travel or a travel that you're doing on Friday uh, to some place that you're wanting to visit. I'm really looking forward to this day. It can be this uh, this feeling as well, Gemini, of taking one too many. Uh, so being out, having a good time, and and well, taking one too many here. Uh, yeah. So, Gemini, uh, that's what I had for you this week. Looks pretty uh, steady. Lots of communication here, starting something new as well. Needing to calm down. Um, so it can be that you are starting new things and trying to uh, well, keep everything rolling. Because this, this is a... Uh, Uh, on Wednesday at least, a uh, uh, need of slowing things down, take it a little bit easy here. Um, I don't see, uh, yeah, looks like a pretty good week for you, Gemini. So, uh, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you and uh, bye. Leo, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know the coming days. Leo. of happy emotions this week Leo for you do have some gossip as well let's see let's start with Monday oh sorry so Leo 
on Monday can be that you are worried about something here uh, something that keeps you can just be that you are will have some uh, trouble sleeping as well um, yeah but it's kind of do see it more being uh, about the past here Leo because coming up looks pretty good but it's uh, it's just more on uh, oh, some worries about uh, something from the past uh, but can be as well Leo that you will just have some trouble sleeping here on, on Monday uh, being up Tuesday it's almost this feeling Leo that you will not let anything or uh, anyone destroy your day you're having a, a good day and it's like I'm not taking uh, well anything bad today just keeping it positive um yeah and if you do have as well Leo, uh, a lot of things to do kind of do see you completing uh, all of those uh, tasks here um yeah so trying to it's like you're trying to just remain positive and not worried about anything here on, on tuesday all right very protective of your own energy here Leo Wednesday this can be somebody new Leo that you will be noticing on Wednesday someone that gets your uh, that catches your eye can be as well uh, <clears throat> like a new um, new passion towards something here something that just uh, slowly uh, enjoying more and more getting passionate about something Leo on Wednesday or about someone here as well Thursday can be you put will be put in a situation where uh, well you're gonna act like you were raised Leo on Thursday like you're going to go from your uh, principle or from your uh, um, yeah just the way that you were raised here on Thursday Uh, we can come back to Thursday take a look and on Friday I kind of do see this more being gossip Leo uh, on Friday that somebody uh, got hurt can be somebody uh, in your surroundings that needs uh, uh, well a shoulder to cry on um, but it looks like they are going through something uh, pretty hard right now uh, so you might be hearing from that now let's take a look at uh, Thursday again Leo This can be as well, Leo, that you're working on something, but it's like a knowing within you that uh, that this will, like it will not happen over over a night. It will take its time to uh, make this more stable. Uh, but it's like you already know this. Can be this new thing as well, Leo. Uh, if it is a new project, a new idea, it's like. You know it's gonna take time, but uh, it will go at it at a steady and slow pace. Yeah, so Leo, that's what we had for you this week. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Virgo, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day.
starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. some worries here Virgo can be that you're dealing with somebody that you're not wanting to deal with or a situation regarding work uh, something is stressing you out or you are overthinking about something here but let's see what's going on Almost like you're trying to uh, move past something here um, this coming week because it starts on on Monday like you're trying to figure out how to uh, move on or get past this the, the best way possible because yeah I can do see you trying or wanting to I just yeah, almost trying to figure out what's next here. Tuesday. It's almost a feeling of feeling betrayed here, Virgo. Uh, can be a little bit up being upset as well. But it's more you... Being more upset with yourself here on Tuesday, like um, how could I fall for this, or how how um, like why didn't I do anything sooner? Um, but yeah, feeling a little bit uh, betrayed here, uh, Tuesday, Virgo, well, a little bit, uh, yeah. Wednesday, it's gonna be you uh, talking to somebody. Uh, can be a parent or somebody that you consider uh, wise. Virgo, getting some advice on uh, on what to do or just having a a deep conversation with somebody here on Wednesday. Thursday looks pretty good for you, Virgo. Can be just a, a really good day at work. Are you feeling inspired uh, when it comes to a, a project or uh, something that you are working on? But it's uh, yeah, it looks it it's starting to look up in the work department for you on Thursday. Can be a more focused as well towards work. And then on Friday, Virgo. It's complete opposite of uh, of uh, Thursday. So Thursday, you do have a good day at work. Everything is looking up. You feel inspired. Um, it's like almost on Friday, it's something that is uh, worrying you regarding uh, your work. Yeah, can be a, a real stressful day at work on Friday. This is something that is starting to worry you. Let's see. Let's get a clarification here. One more on Friday. Yeah, I kind of do see you getting past something here, Virgo. 
and just trying to figure out the best way of doing so can be that you're seeking some advice as well have some deep conversation it can be a business the, that is pulling out on friday uh, virgo Like if you had a deal with somebody, you might be pulling out, causing this uh, stress and worry. But you had such a good day before. This can be as well a uh, uh, change within you, like if you want a, a change of uh, scenery, like wanting to change uh, work or start a new new project here. There we go. Yeah, maybe. Starting to think about uh, switching jobs here as well on Friday. And if you have two uh, it will just become uh, a lot on Friday like uh, both jobs is requiring a lot of your energy if you do have uh, two jobs uh, Virgo. Now it's just a lot of things to do on on friday because both of them will be he hectic so there we go that's what i have for you uh, thank you and uh, bye libra so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know the coming days. Yeah, Libra, a lot of uh, outside energies this week, this week, um, I kind of do see you dealing with a lot of people, let's see, can be that you are uh, making a, a, some sort of travel as well, Libra. Let's see, let's start with Monday here. So Libra, on Monday it will be this sense of wanting to uh, explore, it can be as well that you are wanting to travel somewhere, but it's like uh, being a little bit uncertain where to or what next as well, as well Libra. Yeah, it looks like you are... Um, can be that you're just planning for the future, just being uncertain what will come next, or this is uh, you wanting to make some travel plans, uh, but just not sure where you're wanting to go.
Tuesday. I will come back and clarify Tuesday for you, Libra, because it's either this is some uh, some news that you are uh, well that you didn't expect to hear, or this can be just a a friend that is uh, or someone in your surrounding having some uh, some troubles. Um, but we will see what that is all about. Um, Wednesday. On Wednesday, Libra, I kind of do see you starting to, that you are working towards your goals here. Or towards your dreams. It's like you're putting down uh, time and energy to, to really work on this. Uh, to something you have uh, yeah, dreamed about or your, your goals on Wednesday. I'm starting to aim for... Thursday It is this uh, feeling Libra that something that used to uh, bring you worries or, or troubles here It's like you don't feel the pain from that as much. It's like you are getting over it um, Yeah Can be something that reminds you as well from the past and it's a uh, it's like before it would have uh, uh, bring you down or cause this uh, hurt feeling but it's like not anymore like you don't feel this uh, this burden of it anymore so it's like you are getting uh, past something here Libra yeah and on Friday, it is this sense of wanting to explore more Libra. You see, on Friday, you do have it again. Um, but this can just be you exploring a new city or your own city, like going out there, uh, seeing what, well, just a, just a day out Libra on Friday. Um, can be this that you're thinking on, on Monday, like what, what should I do uh, this Friday? Where should I go? And here I actually do see you going towards uh, uh, some place. Yeah, so a little bit of exploring here on Friday. You did have it on, on Monday as well. The sense of wanting to Libra. But let's see uh, Tuesday. Let's see what's, what's going on on Tuesday. For you. These are some good news, Libra, on Tuesday. Hmm. There's almost this uh, something that you've been stuck on, uh, Libra, like a, a question or seeking some answers that you haven't, uh, well, you haven't got gotten. And here on Tuesday, it's like somebody can be somebody that will uh, clarify things for you you will hear something that will uh, connect the dots for you and you will uh, gain some clarity here on, on Tuesday and this can be uh, the reason why you feel on, on Thursday as well this uh, relief Libra yeah so almost like they will hear something that will get you unstuck. You will gain some some clarity on 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 Tuesday. Uh, maybe this aha moment. I was I was right, or I knew I knew it, but you didn't have it uh, clarified for you. So Libra, that's what I have for you this week. Uh, thank you and bye. Scorpio, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go 
day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday so let's see what you need to know the coming days Scorpio A lot of good emotions this week for you, Scorpio. We do have some news coming in as well. Let's see. The only thing is on Monday, we do have the snake here. The rest of the week looks pretty good for you. Let's see, let's start with Monday. Why is the snake here? So Scorpio, on Monday, it is this uh, a little bit of this insecurity, uh, I kind of do see it being within you, uh, where your happiness lies, or if you really are uh, happy, it's like questioning, uh, questioning your, your happiness here. Can be as well a little bit, little bit of uh, jealousy. Scorpio towards somebody else, like feeling jealous that um, they have uh, um, that they have what you are after. So, yeah, but I do see it more as you questioning uh, your own happiness on Monday, Scorpio. Uh, Tuesday. I kind of do see it more as uh, as a business deal, Scorpio, on Tuesday. You're trying to get the most out of it. Can be that you do uh, do a bargain as well if you um, if you're out shopping or something. Online shopping is like you find something. Um, yeah, but it's almost like you're trying to make a a bargain here. Get the better end of the deal on Tuesday. I do see it a bit more uh, work related, work related, Scorpio. Wednesday, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a feeling of not wanting to be where you are right now, Scorpio. Or, something is bothering you when it comes to your emotions because here on wednesday it's the it's almost the same feeling as uh, as monday i've been a little bit uncertain what it is that you are wanting uh it can be a sadness as well it can be where you're focusing on on business but it's uh yeah this questioning your your happiness or on Wednesday <clears throat> Thursday or is it that you did leave somebody recently Scorpio you're questioning if you did the right thing because here on Thursday you're gonna do see the uh, well, a past person coming in with some communication or running into a, a past person as well it can be that Scorpio that you run into a past person here on, on Thursday um, or that they are reaching out Yeah, on Friday, Scorpio, can I do see that you um, starting to feel much better or leaving this behind almost? There's this sense of uh, 
of uh, knowing that you are indeed happy you're getting uh, at peace with your emotions let's see Almost a, a a knowing here within you, Scorpio, that you are uh, where you're supposed to be. That you're feeling this uh, this stable. You do have everything under control. Yeah. So, Scorpio, um, so looks like you are asking the bigger questions here this week. Uh, Taking a look at what it is that you're wanting uh, about your happiness, I kind of do see you feeling fulfilled here uh, on Friday. Yeah, on some business deals, and by the looks of it, somebody from the past wanting to reach out here or running into somebody from the past here on, on Thursday. Yeah, so Scorpio, um, that's what I had for you this week. Thank you, and uh, bye. Sagittarius, so this is going to be your weekly reading we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days Sagittarius Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's start with Monday. I do see an offer here. Let's so, Sagittarius. On Monday, I kind of do see this uh, like an offer coming your way, but it is something that you've been working towards or trying to manifest. Yeah, it's like a, a sign of your manifestation coming coming through. It's like this is something that you've been wanting. Yeah. So a good good offer here for you, Sagittarius. Um, on Monday, Tuesday. Can I do see it as somebody is wanting to start a? Uh, discussion with you Sagittarius to start some some drama but it's like you're not uh, it is this I don't I don't care kind of feeling but you don't uh, you don't care about this topic or you just don't care about them to uh, get involved in this uh, argument like oh it's a little bit of whatever uh, feeling here from your part can be as well as somebody is yeah it's like some want to start to an, an argument but i don't see you engaging in it it's like whatever wednesday what is this uh 
a day of solitude, Sagittarius. And I do see you going within and trying to make things, uh, seeking for answers or getting some more clarity. It's almost a, a day of meditation for you, but in the way you do it, uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, I guess you're yeah, trying to get some more clarity over everything here. Can be that you are seeking a specific answer. I kind of do see it more being just in, in general. Like re regaining your focus here on Wednesday. Thursday. This can be a, a friend. Sagittarius needing some extra attention on Thursday, coming with uh, some 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 problems that they have, needing us to talk it out with you. Um, so it's like a, a friend in need here on Thursday for you. And on Friday, Sagittarius, it's a. Uh, uh, what do you say? A, a leap towards something new here. Like you're you're doing something new on Friday. Can be a whole new experience or just uh, getting to know somebody new as well. Uh, yeah, we do have newness here on Friday. Yeah, so Sagittarius, that's what I had for you this week. Looks like you do have everything under control here. You're taking uh, a charge, very stable energy. Uh, yeah. So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Capricorn, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know. Coming days. Yeah, you see some communication coming in, Capricorn. It's like business and and family this week. Let's see. Let's start with Monday. So, Capricorn. On Monday, I kind of do see it can be that this is just a, a like a work problem here. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, discussions and arguments surrounding work. It can be as well this feeling of you almost dragging yourself to to work here, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, I can I can come back and clarify Monday a little bit more. Well, let's see. Um, Tuesday. I can be this. It's. Because if it is a lot of uh, uh, discussions and arguments surrounding work here on Tuesday, it can be this feeling of you wanting to uh, quit, but then again, you don't. It's like a feeling of just wanting to quit something here, Capricorn, on, on Tuesday. But, well, 
in the end you you don't uh, do it <coughs> yeah. Wednesday this is a love letter Capricorn yeah uh, communication of, of love can be that you're just uh, communicating with somebody here Capricorn uh, a lot of uh, feelings behind those communication or this is uh, somebody sending you uh, like a love communication lo like a love letter a lot of emotions behind this communication here on Wednesday Thursday Some of this feeling Capricorn of wanting to uh, um, expend more time uh, time with uh, friends and family or trying to find more time for them. It can be just, uh, just balancing, balancing a lot of uh, like work and family right now, trying to fit everything together. Um, yeah, it's like you are wanting more time. Uh, for every everything here but mostly your your family trying to find time for them and on friday capricorn can i do see you on your lonesome here on friday but it's like you're working on something so it's like you you're not wanting to be disturbed on on friday because you are uh, working on something here uh, yeah so it's this feeling of wanting to isolate you yourself here because uh, you do have a lot of things to do <coughs> but let's see let's uh, clarify this uh, on Monday I do see what's going on Yeah, Capricorn, I kind of do see it more of you just dragging yourself uh, towards work here on Monday or preparing for work because it's, uh, it's almost like you're not wanting to, to do it. Yeah, it's like preparing for for a hectic day at work, Capricorn. But it's like just doing it. Uh, yeah, kind of do see you just dragging yourself to uh, that day. But Capricorn, uh, that's what I had for you this week. Thank you and uh, bye. Aquarius Zone, this is going to be your weekly reading, but we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know the coming days. Do I have some some exploring this week, Aquarius? Making some new connections as well. Yeah, let's see. Let's start with Monday. 
Uh, this is Monday being the only day that is a little bit worried some. What's going on here? It's almost like you are trying to to get yourself out of something here, Aquarius, uh, on Monday. Uh, I'm feeling like you have to do something that you're just not uh, feeling comfortable doing. This is you just trying to figure out how to uh, um, get out of this situation or if you can do something, something else, Aquarius. I have a feeling I'm a little bit stuck here. Can be a, a promise or like a dinner date that you made with somebody, because uh, here on Tuesday it's like you, yeah, let's see. It's a lot of thinking Aquarius. But here on Tuesday, it really is uh, like a, a can be that you have made a, a promise uh, towards somebody and you forget about it, Aquarius. So I don't see you wanting to uh, take part of this. Like needing to do something here on, on Tuesday that you're not feeling comfortable doing. Or not wanting, it's like, yeah, trying to get out of it. I will, I will come back and clarify Tuesday for you. Um, Wednesday, Aquarius. This is you having a lot of things to do on Wednesday, trying to, um, yeah, it's like you do have a lot of things on your plate here, Aquarius, trying to uh, do everything as efficiently as possible, but it's uh, a lot of things on your mind, a lot of small things, but it's a lot of things, Aquarius on Wednesday Thursday can be somebody new here Aquarius that is uh, gaining your interest or trying to um, start something new here with you And if it is not a new person, Aquarius, is trying to get your attention, this can be you um, slowly starting to enjoy something, something new that you have started. There's a feeling of, uh, well, feeling that you are getting better at it and feeling more, um, more towards it. And on Friday, Aquarius, it's uh, it is this uh, it's like a feeling like you know that you are on the right path here or you're working towards your goal, Aquarius, like feeling that you are where you're supposed to be. Like things are looking up for you. Friday. Can be as well a situation which requires you to just uh, listen to your intuition here on Friday. Let's see, we will uh, clarify Tuesday for you. Aquarius, 
I'm gonna do like this. On Tuesday, Aquarius can be as well that you are, uh, if you are with somebody, uh, like a person that you are, uh, well, second guessing it a little bit, if this is the right one. But it's like, can be as well that you have made a, a promise towards somebody that you, you care and it's like, Feeling like you have to do something just because you uh, you care about them. Yeah. So, Aquarius, uh, that's what I had for you this week. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Okay, okay. Pisces. So this is going to be your weekly reading. We're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days Pisces A lot of stability here, Pisces. A lot of grounded energy. Let's see. Let's start with Monday. <clears throat> so, Pisces, on Monday, I kind of do see you just uh, making your connections are stronger like people that you uh, well your closest closest ones here uh, friends and family but it's like you are well making this connection uh, stronger with them uh, taking some time uh, towards your friends here Pisces Can be as well a, a reason to celebrate uh, regarding work, Pisces, on Monday. Uh, Tuesday. It's almost like you're doing something here on, on Tuesday, Pisces, that is uh, going against your... Uh, well, going against you. Can be something out of character for you. But it's almost uh, something that is not for your best interest here. Pisces. Yeah, it can be a bad habit or it can be as well that you're just talking yourself down Pisces or trying to like not believe that you're good enough. Oh. Uh, Wednesday, Pisces. It's a very 
a lot of emotions here on Wednesday. Uh, it can be that you're just showing somebody uh, that you really care about them. Are you just feeling all of this, uh, well, all of these emotions towards uh, people that you care about? Pisces, An emotional, emotional day here. <coughs> Thursday, it's a lot of happiness, Pisces, feeling that you are where you're supposed to be, feeling uh, good, um, feeling independent, like everything is going your way here, Pisces, feeling, uh, yeah, feeling lucky, Pisces, on Thursday, yeah, looking, looking good, smelling good, just feeling good, Pisces. And on Friday, Pisces, it's almost uh, you just wanting to have a quiet day in uh, after, uh, yeah, just relaxing. I do see you just wanting to relax here on, on Friday. Take it really, take it easy. And uh, yeah, it's like ordering in and uh, just staying home. Yeah, so Pisces, that's what I had for you this week. Uh, Tuesday is the only concerning day here for you. It's something that you're doing that's, well, like a bad habit or uh, something you're doing that is not good for you. But the rest of the day it looks pretty good for you, Pisces. So, uh, Pisces, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye.